Oh, what the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you actually high? What are we dealing with? Maybe it's a buffed tree spirit, perhaps. To Astal natural born of the void. Oh, shit. This is a hell of a thing, isn't it? Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? I think we fucking got him. Holy shit. Second try. That is an amazing boss design. Okay, and there's another fucking barrier that I can't get through. So let's head up the river then and see if this takes us to the volcano manor. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see where this goes. This feels like it's got to be the entrance, right? Fucking basilisks, man. Why? You know nobody likes you. Two stone sword keys. Into a cave? Is this a whole area? It is. Seathwater cave. Okay, cool. Is this poison? From soft. You really can't fucking help yourselves, can you? I mean, after the place that we... After the fucking rot lake? This is nothing. I could just get poisoned and accept that I'm going to be poisoned. In most poison swamps in FromSoft games, the correct thing to do is just accept your new life as being poisoned. Oh, there is a stake of Marika here. Which indicates that we're probably near a boss. Like through this fake wall. Nope. Let's see how this goes. Kindred of Rot. Oh! Bunch of fucking pests. Oh my god. These guys as bosses? Are oh, they just gonna fucking pelt me from a range with that attack, aren't they? Yup. Yup. Wow. That is not gonna be a fun boss. <sighs> Let's do this. Yep, there we go. That was the only way that this boss fight wasn't going to be dreadful. As if I could just blitz one down like that. Got him. Jesus Christ. It is a bit weird that they made that a boss, because that's just a pair of normal enemies. Um, But hey, I mean, they've been doing that shit for a while now, haven't they? But especially in... Because I get the impression that Mount Gelmir is actually a really high-level area. So it's super weird to me that they would put a, a low-level zone within a high-level zone, you know? Oh, here we are. Is this the Volcano Manor? Ah, there we go. We're at the Volcano Manor, pretty much. That makes sense. It, the path just kind of curves around the back of it. Though exactly where is kind of hard to find. Oh, hang on. No, that's not the Volcano Manor. I'm not looking at the Volcano Manor at all. This is a completely different area. The Volcano Manor's up top. Oh, of course. The, all the fucking pyromancers serve... Will serve prey to Rikard. That actually makes a ton of sense. That looks like a fucking boss, doesn't it? Let's see. Or well, at the very least, a fucking mini-boss. Mini-boss. Wow. Wow. Never mind. Is this just a way back out? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it, it feels really weird. If this is the entire dungeon, then that's quite surprising. Because this fort looks a hell of a lot bigger than that. For an area that was this well guarded, to be so completely empty is quite strange. <laughs> Very strange, in fact. That, uh, that That's a surprise. But let's see if there's anything further back this way. Oh! Oh, there is. Oh, shit. Okay, we've just got a fucking magma worm. Cool. I guess we're doing this now. Okay, this thing has, um, a lot of health, comparatively. Um, why is it just breathing fire in front of it when I'm very clearly fucking miles away? Unfortunately, I can't take advantage of the knockdown there because it's knocked down in its own pile of lava. Uh, whoops. Rip. Alright. Okay. Wasn't super difficult. We fought quite a few magma worms before. I assume we take... Damn it. 
Is that someone out there? Alexander! Hey! Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, he gives you the pot head! That's where you get the pot hat! Okay. Wow, the fact that you can just kind of so easily traverse lava on the horseback. That's very interesting. I wonder if that's something that FromSoft are going to make use of later on. Like, you have to fight something while you're riding on lava or something like that? Oh, there's just a fucking rune bear here. It's like, there's a bunch of enemies, and then also there's a rune bear. One, two, three. Go to sleep, bub. Go to sleep. Thank you. And now. There we are. Now fucking die. Got him. The fact that you can sleep rune bears, that was such a big deal that we found that out. This sword, man. Just randomly and incidentally turns out to be really useful. Oh, what the fuck is- Oh! It's an abductor virgin, but it just doesn't have its, like, head, I guess. Oh my god. Fucking hell! What is it doing? It's just like, it was just like running round and around and around. Shredding everything. Holy crap. Oh, hey, there's a demi-human queen right there. Accompanied by a sorcerer, no less. Accompanied by two sorcerers. Demi-human queen Maggie. Okay, so that's an actual name for Actually, can I just kill Maggie right now? While I'm standing behind this fucking rock. So the other sorcerers can't get me. Hey, Maggie. How you doing? Not so well. Not so well, it would seem. Oh! What? Hang on. What? Firstly, another memory stone. Fantastic. Secondly, the sorcerers just fucking died. Why did they die? What? What? Wait, what? Why did that happen? Who are you? Oh my god, who are you? Can you give me your crystal hat? Um. Comet Azia? What? Oh my god, is this Azia? As in Azia's staff? Legendary sorcery device by Azure Primeval Sorcerer fires a tremendous comet in a torrent akin to the distant starry expanse, the place said to be the origin of Glintstone. Hold to continue releasing the sorcery's power. When Azure glimpsed into the primeval current, he saw darkness. He was left both bewitched and fearful of the abyss. Oh! It's that attack! Okay. There is no way that's worth it. Ever. That's never been worth it in any Souls game. It's awesome. It looks amazing. But look how fucking slow it is. And like, look how much magic it consumes. Unless the damage is unbelievable, but um, I doubt the damage is high enough that that would actually be warranted. Where is this? Oh, I have no idea where this is. No idea where we are. No idea where we're going. I was trying to find my way to the Volcano Manor, but this place is a fucking maze. Hero's Grave, the Beast Eye Quivers. Okay. It looks like it's a catacombs, but it's like a super special catacombs. Which has a beast, I think. This should be something unique, surely. Surely. This is so completely different to all the other catacombs we've done. Oh! No, it's a Hero's Grave! We've done one of these before. I didn't know there was multiple of these. See what's this way. There we are. Okay. Because I was going to say, you can't go any further down there. Well, you probably can, actually. This lava isn't an instant kill. It just deals damage. This is very obviously the way you're supposed to go, but... Can we do this? Oh! You fat roll in the lava? Damn. Okay, so lava, you slow walk in lava as well. But you don't take a ton of damage. Like, the damage is sort of fine. Okay. Do we have enough time to get down there? I'm not convinced that I do, you know? Holy shit. Um. Really don't have a lot of time here. Fucking move! 
Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Hang on, this is not a good place to be. Is this thing going to turn and face me now? Oh, crap. We're screwed. Oh! I almost got in! I almost got in! Yeah, there's a pathway there that you're supposed to go down. Oh, there's a fucking shade in that! Jesus. So we need to go to the right. Yeah, and there's a fucking shade in here. Jesus, this thing. This is not something I want to be stuck in a tight space with. Why did my block not work? Can you not block this thing? Let's see if we can make it all the way down. Like this. There we go. Nice. And now we can kill this guy. Fucking piece of shit. Okay. Cool. That's a good way to do it. So, wh hang on. Where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. Yeah, what the fuck? Am I supposed to just make my way through the lava? Like, maybe if the lava just dealt damage, but the fact that the lava slows you as well makes this wildly unfeasible. No, 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 no. You're too slow. Way too slow. Okay. What's the deal, then? Unless, can you make it past... Can you make it past the lava down here? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you just make it down here. No, it's not fake. Oh, no. There's a fucking horse here now. And again, we run into the same problem, which is that there's no way I'm going to be able to make it down there. Absolutely none. Or is there? Oh, I'm out of healing. Okay, we're just going to die down here, but... Can we make it down? Is that a thing that we can do? I don't know. That just doesn't that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. Thing is, once the horse actually gets down here, there's no way we're gonna be able to make it down. Right? Can we get to here? Holy fuck. Has this worked? Is this something you're supposed to do? What the shit? The horse doesn't come down here. Oh my god. Okay. So you can just make it across here. Don't know if you're supposed to, or if there's supposed to be another way to get down here, but hey, it fucking worked, so... <laughs> Fat rolling my way to victory. In classic Dark Souls style. Oh. Ooh, what is this place? Um, is that far enough? I'm gonna drink just in case we take damage. We didn't. I didn't think we would, but... Okay, damn! Where the fuck is this? Well, you know what? We've actually got decent flasks for a boss. And there's a Steak America back there, so we don't have to go through all that every time. Let's do it. Red Wolf! Okay. I mean, we fought these guys before. Would appreciate a Scholar Shield, but um, I don't think I've got the opportunity. Carrion Phalanx seems like a good spell to have in this fight. Very good spell to have, holy crap. Oh shit. Shit. Yup, okay. Fuck me sideways. Slam no. Yeah, okay. I mean, homing soul mass is homing soul mass, man. It's it's good in the first game. It's good in every game. It's good in this game. It's fine. Shit. Shit! Oh, God. I didn't even mean to dodge there. Fucking hell. I, I, didn't, I didn't think there was any way I was going to lose that. Oof, got him. Okay. Okay, there is Deathroot. This boss feels like it should have been unique. Yeah, I agree. But I fought a bunch of them as regular enemies as well. It feels like the boss at the end of this dungeon should have been unique, for sure. 
Um, so it's a bit disappointing that it was just another fucking red wolf. Let's head to Garank and give him the death root just to see what happens. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Never mind. I guess we're fighting Garank. What? Why? Holy shit. I guess he's gone a little bit crazy, huh? Okay. Let's get behind this pillar. Seems like that would be a good thing to do. Oh, never mind. He can break through the pillars. He can break through the pillars. This ain't good. And he's got a lot of fucking health. This is a proper boss. Okay, my god. Oh! He's not a boss. I just had to, like, calm him down, I guess? Has he regained control? Okay, he's regained control. Interesting. Yep, okay. So that's just a thing that happens once you give him a certain number of death root, I guess. He attacks you for a little bit and then regains control. It's gonna be a hell of a thing when we have to fight that guy for real, which I imagine is probably the end of this quest line. And yeah, okay. That's it for today, I guess. Um, ugh, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time.